Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. This is the general summary of the meeting that was held yesterday. So I'll just leave you, I'll just leave you to, to listen and pay attention to the meeting. Food meeting that was held yesterday. Very important meeting about this development. A very good evening to everyone here. Uh, the voice you're hearing is the voice of Admin Ellis. Of course, I have uh, made it known in the Grand Ecosystem time and time again that my name is, my real name is Peter Uchechuku Eliezer. Uh, I'm from Abia State, then the local government area of Abia State particularly. Uh, it's a pleasure having us here. The times we are in, in the Grand Ecosystem, are perilous times. And one has to be careful, very, very careful, not to be entrapped in the snares of the fowler. A lot has happened, a lot is happening, and a lot will happen. Before we go further in this meeting, I want to let us know that this meeting is being recorded for, uh, you know, uh, personal purpose and for uh, legal purposes because we are in an era where lies are being peddled and the masses are being incite, uh, incited against a group of persons that have tried to that have tried to you know uh, remove others from the shackles and the bondage of mental slavery in the grand ecosystem uh, I've as I'm talking to you, I'm busy adding uh, other people in the platform, uh, and uh, I've just added Pastor Tochuku. It's a pleasure having you here, sir, Pastor Tochuku. It's a pleasure. Uh, the, the, the pleasure is mine, actually. Uh, I want to see more of uh, you. Uh, that is the foot soldiers of UAH. I want to see more of you in this meeting. And I am just clicking, clicking, clicking to add as many people as I can. I would uh, hope and believe that we will beat the time because I, for once, do not like long meetings. I believe that let us by 9 p.m. we are done with this meeting. Uh, so uh, in the past few seconds, I've added 95 people already and people are still joining and joining. Well, I have to do the adding later on. Okay, start with the first agenda uh, or the first thing on the program, which is a welcome address by Admin Ellis. Well, Admin Ellis is saying welcome to you all. I see dignitaries in this platform. I see even uh, uh, people from the military, the Nigerian military. At least I can see one or two persons I know very well with high ranks in the military. I can see one person again uh, that I met at the FCID, Abuja, you know, during the time of uh, Supreme. He's also uh, a person with uh, high rank, a reputable person. I uh, I remember how he, how he treated our case uh, during the Supreme, a uh, well-to-do man. Uh, I can also see some notable clergymen uh, and women here. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm, see I'm seeing people that I thought will never be in this program. But of course, you're all welcome. Uh, Grant Info Platform is a, a democratic platform where you air your views without insult. As long as you air your views according to the rules of this platform, uh, nobody will trouble you. This is not uh, a pro a pro UAG platform or an anti UAG platform. Neither is it a pro or grand pressure group platform or an anti or grand pressure group platform. It will interest you to note that uh, many a times I have been under attack in my own platform. This grant info platform. Many a times I have been under attack by individuals, you know, and I come out to defend myself. Uh, old members in this platform will bear me witness. They will bear witness to what I'm saying. So you all are welcome. Uh, by God's grace, we will be doing a great service to uh, sanitize the ills 
and evil in this ecosystem. Uh, so that is just by way of introduction, uh, and I want to believe that uh, everybody here is seeking for the truth. Not just the truth, because for me, the truth is not even why I came into the grant ecosystem. Yes, why I came into the grant ecosystem is the grant. But there is no faster way to the grant than the truth. It is through the truth. Uh, sorry, I'm a Christian for non-Christian members here. I would like to, you know, refer to the passage of the Bible, a passage where Jesus Christ says, I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That is, no one comes to the Father except through the truth. And same thing I want to say that nobody gets to the grant except through the truth. I want us to disabuse our minds from, you know, everything that has been said today. The voice knows the write-offs. All those things are fallacious and evil statement that uh, against uh, some group of persons, which I myself am included. All those things are meant to stir up the masses against my person. Uh, I even listened to one person, uh, so I think Shambach, saying they should find them anywhere they should deal with them. In fact, to tell you the truth, it was even people in my vicinity, in my area, that brought what was happening in the platforms, in other platforms, to my notice. And they were like, Adminelis, look at, look at this nonsense, look at this nonsense. And I told them, calm down. These are people that have registered free of cost. So when you say people, ex ex uh, people extorted money and they are doing this because they are defending themselves, these people begin to wonder. So um, we'll just go straight to item two, which is uh, serious prayers by three persons. And I will be needing a Yoruba man, an Igbo man, and an Aosa man to pray these two prayer points. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Uh, I have some cough and uh, I want to crave your, your uh, I want to plead that you accommodate uh, me. The weather here is uh, somehow and it's affecting me. So uh, I, I would like three people one uh, from the southwest, uh, you know, uh, ethnic group. Uh, second one from the southeast ethnic group, and the third one from the um, uh, from the north. Yeah, uh, Hausa Ibo Yoruba to pray this prayer. And these two, this the two prayer points are number one: if it is all Grand Pleasure Group of Nigeria, Adminelis, and others that are causing the delay or planning to cause delays and are denying it. May it never be well with them and their household to their fourth generation. Number two, if all that UAAG, Apostle Ken, and his foot soldiers are saying against our Grand Pressure Group, Adminelis, and others are lies, may it never be well with them and their household to their fourth generation. It's a simple, a simple prayer, and all of us will say amen to it, myself inclusive. Myself inclusive. So, uh, please, uh, I would like... Um, I don't know these people raising their hands are they for the prayers um okay let me start with uh ola daily at dbc ola daily at dbc please sir i think uh you're even a clergy that would be fantastic please mr ola daily if you can lead us in the yoruba prayer please just these two prayer points so that we go ahead with, with the discussions <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray thus. We thank you, O Lord, because you are God. We thank you, O Lord, because you are always our backbone. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. All these are why you have always been with us. And I know that right now you are with us. Forever you will always be with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. As we are going into this meeting, O Lord, be our Alpha and Omega. Whatever we are going to discuss tonight, let it come directly from you, O oh Lord. Be our director. Come down to us, Holy Spirit, and take total control in the name of Jesus. Be any who that is disturbing this grant from not being disbursed. We call Holy Ghost fire upon the head of that particular person and his or her household in the name of Jesus. Let Amen. the fire go consume their household. 
in the name of Jesus. Let the Amen. blood of the people that have died because of not seeing money to take care of themselves and their family, let their blood rise up now and continue to be waging war against to against them and their household in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the people that are in the hospital right now looking for money for operations or one thing or the other to take care of their life that are not similar that are expecting this money to be to you to use it for themselves let their uh, the, 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 their spirit let it stand up now and be tormenting them and their household in the name of jesus let yeah. anybody that have hand in this ground not to be disbursed i shock them into the deep fire of god almighty in the name of jesus let the fire Amen. consume them give us Amen. victory oh lord on this ground because we've suffered enough give us the victory now for in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. thank you very much for that wonderful prayer uh, although I, I had wanted us to play, pray according to the prayer prayer points to mention the names there uh, because i don't want us to shy away from some of these things please is there any body from uh, the outside extraction you can use outside to to pray you can use uh if you are a muslim you can pray in islam that is, is, is okay it's welcome by admin is there anybody is there anybody mr charles uchelo no you're an evil person is there any house of person any house of person that is volunteering to pray okay i don't see anyone coming up so let me just um let me just do the pray the prayer uh for the evil and i will say this father in the name of jesus if it is all grand pressure group of nigeria or my humble self admin Ellis, or any other person that are causing the delay or planning to cause delays and they are denying it whether they are denying it or not denying it may it never be well with me and every one of us and our household even to the fourth generation in the name of jesus amen if all that UAAG, Apostle Ken and his full soldiers are saying against all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria, against Admin Ellis, my very self, and others are lies, if all they are saying is lies, are lies, may it never be well with them, may it never be well with UAG, may it never be well with Apostle Ken, may it never be well with his foot soldiers, in the name of Jesus Christ, even to their fourth generation, may it never be well, be well with them, in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is our confession here tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, um, I want us to note that these prayers are powerful prayers and we should not take it lightly. I so much believe in prayers and I believe it works wonders. <laughs> yeah, we know that God is a merciful God, but is a consuming fire also. That is what some people don't uh, 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 remember. Uh, now straight to agenda three agenda of the meeting the agenda of the meeting number one is uh disbursement date now i'll be taking all this in few minutes disbursement date what is the challenge or what is the cause of the delay okay i'll take these two now and then the role of foreground pressure group of nigeria before we move to uh number four now uh from all indication, even while, even if you go to uh, Apostle Ken Wakama, when he was, you know, uh, still his normal self, I'm sorry to say this, uh, apologies for the words I'm using. I know he's my, far my elder, uh, and uh, I say these things with deep respect for him. But even before I say this, let me give us a scenario of what happens, uh, what happened in my family or what used to happen when my father was still alive <laughs> excuse me now among all his children uh he knows i'm stubborn but my stubbornness is not a useless stubbornness uh my stubbornness is always on the right track number one i don't like seeing where others are victimized unjustly if you must punish somebody let the person let the punishment be merited but if you are victimizing somebody unjustly then i will take the problem upon myself and it always comes to the decks of my father, report upon report. Uh, Eliza, what happened? He fought with this one. Uh, why did you fight? Did he insult you? No. Why did you not fight? 
sir, is because he was doing this to this person and doing, and the person was innocent. You, it has always been like that. I don't know why it's like that with me. Now, among all my siblings, there are some things that my dad would do for me as a child. I would see it as he's doing it the wrong way or he's wrong in this thing that he has done. I am the only person among all his children that would tell him, Daddy, this thing you did is wrong. With all humility and with my low voice, I would tell him, Daddy, this thing you did is wrong. Sometimes he will look at me and smile and scratch my head playfully and tell me, this boy, why don't you keep quiet for once? Now, this is the kind of person I am. And I have grown to be this. I cannot stop being this. Now, uh, so when I use some certain words uh, for Apostle Ken, please, I do that out of the deep, deep respect for him as a, as a father. Uh, now, you will hear him say those days when he was still, you know, coordinating himself properly. You will hear him say that he is under authority. That he is under authority. Who were the authorities? The authorities were the government. These things have been said over and over again. Now, it will not be shameful for anybody, for any one person, to say this is the date of disbursement. And that is why when Jennifer Isaac came up and said 15th, if nothing happened on the 15th, we knew he was lying. But for us, for me in particular, I said, okay, let's wait till 15th. All those that cared to call me called, and I told them nothing is happening 15th except the the government has fixed that date but if not that nothing is happening on the 15th now this is not the fault of uag in quotes okay uag in quotes and it is not the fault of our grand pressure group now you can also remember that obinwa go in one of his speech would say that this thing don't enter government hand nothing will we will do i still remember that that the, the, anything we don't enter government hand now nah, nah look we go they look until they finish what they, they do now how is it that this set of people are the people now turning around to start appointing accusing fingers now the point is on the date of disbursement we know we can perceive from uh intels from information that it is close but the date is what no one knows even all grand pressure group of nigeria we cannot tell you this is the date as a person i will tell you that this i expected the disbursement to happen this month of may in fact as many people that have called me or that try to ask me i will tell them hi the way i see this thing it will happen this month by the special grace of god ask anybody ask them they will tell you that's that has always been my con confession that it will happen this month i am still believing and trusting god that the remaining days of this month something will happen but the date is what i do not know now the cause of the delay i have also said it it is not attributed to any one person to any person now this is the government and they are doing their things you know and to to to, to tell you the truth they are monitoring every activity that is going on in the different platforms <coughs> excuse me they are monitoring every activity every voice note every write-up everything going on in the in the social media they are aware okay they are aware of the plight of the masses they are aware of the plight of the poor they are aware of the, how badly people need this money now being aware will also make them work faster now what work they are doing adminelis do not know because i am not part of that committee <coughs> excuse me because i am not part of that committee now we want to believe that by and by when they they, they are set this disbursement will come and that is 4.1 and 0.2 disbursement date <coughs> excuse me disbursement date and what is the cost of the delay now any person telling you that it is all grand pressure group of nigeria that is causing delay is a lie i admin is telling you is a lie from the pit of hell anybody telling you that it is because of petition that is causing the delay the time that petition caused delay has long passed and i will tell you this there was a time that it was uh, it was it was almost close the government will have credited the account of sanctuary work to start this disbursement 
it was almost at the tip of the finger. But petitions started coming. Who are writing the petitions? Adminellis do not know. Neither do members of the All Ground Pressure Group know. As far as I'm not holding brief for anybody, but as far as my investigation goes, it is not them. Anybody telling you that All Ground Pressure Group wrote a petition, Ostas Dawood wrote a petition, Adminellis wrote a petition, Reverend Ngo Achiku. Now, we are coming to Reverend Ngo Achiku. I have not spoken to him or be, be in a platform together with him or being under one roof with him for the past, uh, will I say, one year now, approximately one year. He has not called me, I have not called him. I don't know his wedding, I don't know his whereabouts. The only person I have interfaced with is Admin Moses, and that is in uh, our WhatsApp page. And to God we made me, if you listen to our conversation, you will run away because I give it to him hot, hot. You know, he comes with all those nonsense he says, bragging about, uh, you know, talking anyhow. And I give it to him hot, hot. I push him out of my, my presence. So now, why I'm saying this is, I am also including him actually because he was mentioned in that post. Now, anybody telling you he's the one writing petition, I will not tell you, I will not say to you that you should say is a lie or it is true. What I will tell you as a responsible person is tell the person telling you this to provide proof to so every petition written that is proof when we went to fcid during mama supreme they brought the petition written against us i saw it <coughs> i saw it and i was with my phone i took snapshots of it so petitions are not something that are hidden they are not secretive documents they are not secretive documents so anybody telling you that admin Ellis, uh, any other person or stars that would anybody wrote petition against supposed to can tell the person you want let the person show you proof and circulate that proof on the social media don't hide it circulate it let the whole world see who is writing the petition now i was saying that the time of petition had passed that petition cannot stop disbursement as it stands now and come to think of it every learned person if you have passed through the four walls of the university and somebody is telling you we don't want petition we don't want petition is the person normal now i am not in support of you know team petition of course i know that at this point in time petition cannot stop anything i am i am telling you this for free believe it or not i know why i'm saying this because uh okay let me hold down let me hold that side for now <laughs> let me hold on for now now, come to think of it, petition is a legal right of the of the public, of every citizen. If you are if you are uh, accused of something, or somebody is smearing your character, somebody is assassinating your character, or somebody you know extorted from you, or somebody scammed you, the law says you should not take laws into your hands. That you should approach. Uh, the relevant uh, authorities and one of the ways to so to so do or to do so is to write petition that you're writing petition does not mean you are killing the person no you're only telling the government please weigh in and it's a personal matter it is not a a, a matter that we drag a system down no but even at this explanation i am giving i am telling you here that Adminelis did not write any petition or is planning to write any petition. All Grand Pressure Group, to the best of my knowledge, have not or planning to write any petition. Ostas Dawood has not or is planning to write any petition. None of this has happened. Now, you will begin to wonder, where is all this coming from? And I will tell you, all these things are coming from Apostle Ken Wakama. With all due respect to him. He is a person I have worked with and I know what he is capable of doing and what he cannot do. Now, I will tell you here that there was a time Apostle Ken approached me. You have always heard me say that I know who Just Lovely is, that I and one somebody discussed this in Princeton Hotel, opposite H. Made is Kwarimpa Abuja. The person I was referring to is no other person than Apostle Ken. Of course, many people that are wise knew who I was referring to. Now, I am not a, a god strike me this night let me not wake up from my sleep what i'm saying or what i want to say is falsehood may i never see the light of tomorrow it's as it's as simple as that 
It's as simple as that. Now, in that meeting, it was I and him. If you enter Christian Hotel, okay, you agree with me. Some of you in Abuja that have gone there. If you enter the inside the hotel, you see the reception. By the right is uh, a restaurant. And then uh, just by the side of where the reception is, is a staircase that leads to the rooms. Now, when we were at the restaurant, that day he bought uh, two plates of pepper soup, uh, two plates of rice, one bottle of wine. And uh, okay, those are the things he bought. And I was very, very observant because then I, I started being afraid. I allowed him to take the first a few spoons and sip the first wine before I said anything. I am not saying that he uh, he's uh, he, he wanted to pay me or nothing, but I was be taking precautionary measures. Now, the discussion was centered on Nguagachuku. Now, I'm just relating this so that we know, we have an idea of what he can do. Now, the discussion was centered on Nguagachuku. He pleaded with me that day. He told me at Minelis that this, the next week, Will be the, will, will be the week for disbursement. That everything has been perfected is just disbursement. That money, every I was so happy. He told me that there is only one person that is writing petitions to stop that disbursement, and that person is Mwarachu. That he needs me to make a voice note. Then he knows that I've been with Mwarachu for a very long time. That he needs me to make a voice note to stop Mwarachu from disturbing the disbursement. And I told him, sir, if if this is what it takes to liberate the masses from poverty, <coughs> excuse me, if this is what it takes for this money to share, I said that I know him. I will I will say what he has done so that he will be quiet. The masses need this disbursement. I in particular I need it. I did a voice note, but everything I said in that voice note were correct. They were truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I did not add, I did not subtract. But ordinarily, I it wasn't my intention to make that voice note. It was supposed to Ken that told me that disbursement is next week, that watch was stopping it. If I am lying against him, let me not wait for this night. Let this night be my end. But if tomorrow you hear my voice, know that what I'm telling you is the, is the truth. The, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I made that voice note and I was telling everybody that here to hear me that tomorrow money go into our account. That tomorrow never came to pass. That tomorrow is still the tomorrow of today. The tomorrow that is being circulated through WhatsApp and social media right up uh, everywhere is burning and boiling today. That is that tomorrow. That's next week. The next week is never is never coming to an end. Last was it some days back when the POP issue started. I was surprised that Apostle Ken forwarded the voice note of scene made to the platform, WhatsApp platform that I and him were members. And from me, because of experience I have had with him, I can sense, I can sense that he sent Osim, IT Osim, to make that voice note. Probably he wanted to forward it to uh, some other platform and he mistakenly forwarded it himself. And when people started insulting him on that platform, he quickly deleted it. But who the thing, those those when he forwarded it, they were they, some snapshots were taken. When he deleted it, some snapshots were taken. If not, he would have denied it totally. Now, uh, this will give you an idea to the unleashing of good soldiers of mad dogs on the social media today against my humble self adminalist, against us just that would against our grand pressure group of nigeria the, all they are trying to do is to incite the masses against us okay look at shambak shambak that knew that telecom had crashed that telecom did not have any money to disburse and he started selling his clusters in telecom to people he is the one coming to make voice notes look at the scene that scanned people of his grassroots whatever whatever he's the one making voice notes today Okay, look at Pastor Tochuku. <laughs> Pastor Tochuku, that it is somebody here has forwarded a lot of complaint and proofs of payment about the government NGOs. He's, he's, he's siphoned money from people and the money he's collecting. He is the one writing, forwarding uh, messages that Adminel is inclusive. And thank God he's here. He's listening to me. 
I would like to give him opportunity to also uh, ask and answer some questions if he can do that. As many of you, the food soldiers and mad dogs of Apostle Ken and UH that are here listening to me, please, during the question and answer section, don't shy away. Raise your hands. Unmute yourself. I will call you here and you will say what you want to say. Let people ask you questions. See, this madness in the grant ecosystem had to stop. Today, I wanted to make a voice, a, vo a, a video. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, please. Today, I wanted to make uh, a screenshot of uh, what has transpired in, in my inbox with uh, uh, Apostle Ken Wakama. With all due respect to him. But uh, the calls I got today, <laughs> I've, I've never received such call in my life. And they are elder statesmen, people that uh, senior me in both uh, spiritual level and age. Uh, their voice is centered on, please don't do that. This is what people discussed in secret. Don't bring it to the open. And I told them, okay, that I will, I will not do that. But that they should reign on, they should tell Apostle Ken to reign on his mad dogs not to cause havoc in the grant ecosystem. The, the damage has been, is enough, is enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, some days ago, he held a meeting in his, in, in uh, amongst the NGOs. I, I think he's having a meeting today by nine. I'm, that's why I'm rushing so that uh, some of us that want to attend that meeting will attend the meeting. He held a meeting and in that meeting, he said that there are three accounts that this money will be paid into, although he did not elaborate. And I want to tell you here and now that none of his account is among those three accounts. Simply put, simply put, Apostle Ken Wakama is no longer in the picture of who to disburse this grant. Take it or leave it. This is the much I can tell you. Okay? That does not mean that People that went for screening will not get paid. The people that went for screening that register through the normal process, your data is safe. Your data is safe. I wanted to put the few figure here, but I won't, I, I, I'm holding myself. Your data is safe. Okay? You'll be disposed to. Only people that have issues are people that were paying money. Some paid 250,000, some paid 150, some paid 1 million, some paid 2 million to register after the verification. Those people, sorry is your name. I have said it, I have said it in one of my voice notes. I have said it in one of my voice notes. Be, you, you, you see that you take it or you leave it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry is your name. You don't have any disbursement. But for people that did the normal thing, don't there is absolutely no need for you to worry. Absolutely no need. For you to worry the grant will be disbursed the only thing is that i do not know when now what is the role of our grant pressure group in all these things i keep telling us that especially the poor masses when i say the poor masses i'm including myself because my brother and sister are they poor if i know they poor my house for day for metama as in my personal house i'm not talking about rented apartment my house for day for metama you understand i for i for the drive uh, fj cruiser or one of these expensive cars but I'm, I'm 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 a poor man okay and that is why i say the poor masses now the poor masses you people should be thankful and appreciative of all grand pressure group for what they have done if not for all grand pressure group i tell you this much that 60 to 70 percent of you wouldn't have gotten this grant or palliative, anyone they call it, you would not have tasted it. Because the evil plan, the evil plan, had it been it worked the way they wanted it to work. None of us, <coughs> most of most of us will not get this plan. Now I will give you a little insight. You have heard that some people went and signed MOU. In fact, I have three of those MOU in my possession. I have three of those MOU in my possession, but for the peace and tranquility in the grant community. I don't want to uh, delve into that. Now, people were giving MOU to sign that they will disperse 5,000 bundles to them and they will remit the value of 4,000 bundles and keep the value of 1,000 bundles to themselves. Imagine if there were 100, just 100 NGOs that signed this, that signed this agreement. That would be 100 times 5,000. 
okay, 105,000. That will be, uh, I think, 500,000. <coughs> Excuse me. That will be 500,000. Now, if that amount, I'm just assuming if it's 100, because I'm not certain the number of NGOs that signed that document. I'm not certain. I'm just assuming if it's 100. Okay, let's take it, even if it is 50, that is 250 bundles, okay? 250,000 bundles. Imagine when 250,000 bundles is taken away. Do you think that every NGO will have gotten one, one bundle? There was a time all Grand Pressure Group raised the alarm that they were trying to remove 2,000 NGOs from the list. If you could remember. If you could remember. What do you think was going on there then? But it is because of the fight that all Grand Pressure Group, for which I am aware, very much aware, that made that plan scatter. And as it is now, and that is why I respect <coughs> the All Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria for the work they have, do, they have done. At least every NGO will go home with one, one bundle. And that is enough. That is enough. I remember during the screening exercise, Apostle Ken Wakama himself told us, you know, in the meeting, one meeting he called one morning, that it is all Grand Pressure Group that facilitated this grant. And he called one man, John, Mr. John, or oh, Noble, I think he should be the son, should be a noble. He called, said, Mr. John, was the person they asked, do you, do you trust Apostle Ken? And John said, yes, you can trust him. And they said, okay. They, they now put his name there. Now, it is this same jo John that the foot soldiers and the mad dogs of Apostle Ken are attacking, trying to drag down trying to bury him to drag him to the mud it is this same pastor john it is this same pastor john what what a shame what a shame but of course we live in perilous times just just like i said now all what they are trying to do and all what they have been trying to do is to look for something they can hold on and present to the committee like i said the previous pop saga that write-up that ostas dawood made and said uh, any payment, any proof of payment from all Grand Pressure Group and UAH, please forward it to WhatsApp number that he posted. They took that that message and and reported it to the committee. They reported it to the committee, but of course the committee threw it threw it away. All they are trying to do is to find one excuse, something strong they can use to paint all Grand Pressure Group black before the uh, committee, so that the committee will remove the three the three signatories that they have signed with and then bring in apostle ken and that is all they are trying to do you can see that even one of the barristers keep on saying that very soon the table will turn very soon the table will turn i don't want to mention names the table will turn ask him what table is turning ask him what table is turning <coughs> so this is the much i can say here uh, actually i do not mean to uh, incite anybody against anybody or uh to you know accuse anybody wrongly of course everything i've said here is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth but uh, when you tell me i'm a thief i should be able to come out and defend myself and this is my defense for all the lies peddled uh so um i think next on the agenda is AOB and the AOB is centered on all the voice notes I have posted. There's even one one voice note where the Ostas Dawood was saying put the put the NGOs in Excel format. <coughs> Excuse me. The voice note uh, Ostas Dawood was telling somebody to put the list of NGOs in Excel format and send to him. I called Ostas Dawood and he explained to me that that voice note was actually made when they were submitting names to UAAG. That was then. Of course, you know that these people always have a way of going past and lifting things to bring to the present as if. And that is why when I make voice note, I add dates. I, I, I add date. And sorry, I've not even said the data because I'm recording this uh, meeting. Uh, today's date is 25th of May, 2024, just for the records. Okay. So uh, disregard that voice note. Uh, you can see write-ups from uh, from uh, Pastor Tochuku uh, talking trash. And I, I want to believe that <coughs> the pastors, the bishops, the reverends, the apostles, the teachers, and 
all the big big titles we have in the in, in the christendom i want to believe that your calling is on the altar your calling is not in the grand community there is no altar in the grand community this does not mean that you should not wait for the grant no what i'm trying to say here is since you are a man of god and you know that you are a, a, a man of god sent by god what you should be doing is praying on your altar when you see that they brought you see something they wrote something that adminelis is stopping disbursement or adminelis is planning to stop apostle ken from disbursing pray and tell god god if it is adminelis that is stopping these blessings from coming to us let adminelis be eliminated i'm saying this factually i know they even say let god expose adminelis no exposing if god exposed me i will see their life they cost more trouble now abby the right prayer to pray is God eliminate. Let, if I use eliminate, it will be like say, God kill Adminelis, kill Adminelis, so that the blessings will come to us. If it is our grand pressure group that is causing the delay or preventing Apostle Ken from the God kill all grand pressure group members. If it is that is the prayer you should be praying. Any stumbling block causing this delay, if it is these people they have mentioned, God. Arise and key these people. Let the blessings come to us. And also, when you are praying that prayer, don't forget to also add, if it is not these people, if these people are innocent, Father, if they, if these things are lying, Father, heal the people that are lying. I want you to also add that part because it's to make it balance. Okay? These are the prayers that our clergy in the grant ecosystem should be praying. I'm not making voice notes to incite the public. This is the much I can say here. And then we'll go into questions and answers. Please, I have spent 44 minutes already, and I would like the question and answer section to be very brief. If you have any questions, something troubling you, this is the time. Just unmute yourself. I'll see you from here. I will unmute you, and you ask your question. Please make it very brief, and do not insult. I don't want any insult, please. Make it very brief, straight to the point. Thank you. Please, uh, questions now. Uh, okay, let me have the questions. Okay, I have uh, four persons indicating to ask questions. Uh, I'm not seeing any food soldier of UAG. I'm expecting Pastor Tochiku, you came in here. Why are you not raising your hands? Uh, Kendra Investment, you are you are on my platform. Why are you not raising your hands? Uh, those of you in my platform, please raise your, your hands. I'm not comfortable that you. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <coughs> there are three persons that are raising their hands. Johnny Brasco. After Johnny Brasco, o Omovic. After Omovik Kunle, please let's go in this sequence. John Brasco, please go ahead. You've been unmuted. Johnny Brasco. <coughs> Excuse me. What is happening, Johnny Brasco? You've been unmuted. Please ask your question. Okay, I have uh, unmuted three persons. If you know you're muted, you can go ahead and ask your question. Good evening. Yes, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Admin Ellis. Yeah, go ahead, please. Good evening, sir. Okay. My question goes first. I got information that those who registered with companies and liabilities, their details have been expunged from the AGPG enlist. Is this true or is this false? Now, which one is AGPG enlist? Did the list of, collect any list? The list that they want to use to this boss. Uh, no, I want to know because when you say AGPGN list, it means that AGPGN received list from you. Did AGPGN collect your your name on or any of your data? Not AGPN directly. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the list submitted straight from UAG's um what do you call it? Okay, I understand. I understand you now. I understand you now. Um, yes. I understand you now. Um, okay. I, I cannot. Uh, I, I. I cannot uh, answer that question because 
uh, I'm not part of the people managing that app. Well, whether they respond it or not, I don't know. But of course, they have the right to expunge whatever they want to expunge. That does not mean. In fact, uh, somebody told me that my cooperative has been expunged a long time ago, and I said, "Praise the Lord, Hallelujah." <laughs> If okay. it is a sponge my own, that will make them. Now, my point is, my point is, as long as you came for verification mm -hmm. and you were clear, you yes. don't have any fear whatsoever. Okay. You say so. That's my question. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, the next person. Good evening, Alf. <laughs> yeah. Good evening. Uh, Admin Ellis, I want to commend you for a good job you are doing. And the Lord will reward you. Now, you said something when you were addressing us that no petition can stop this government at this point. How true is that? How true is that? Secondly, how, how sure is it that we are going to get this money? These are just two questions that I want you to answer. Thank you. Network locked me out. Now, now when I say, can you hear me, sir? I can. I can hear you. Okay. When I say petitions cannot stop it, what I mean by that is, like, when I was explaining something, I said that Pastor Ken is no longer part of the people to disperse the money. Now, if you write, uh, if let me not say you, because before you know it, a uh, grand community will now start peddling your name that you are among those writing petition. Now, if I am not part of those, I, now I'm, I'm talking about administrators, if I am not part of those who disperse this money, and you write petition against me, Will it change anything? No. The answer is obviously no. So, no amount of petition can stop anything. And just to uh, buttress this fact, this point, nobody is writing any petition. All those things they are saying are lies from the pit of hell. When they say it, tell them to give you proof. Let them give you evidence. The, the world is, 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 we are just in a small village. The world is a small village. Anything they say, ask for proof. They tell you that the, uh, uh, I, Adminelis, and the Ngwarachuku, we are in the same platform, in Kwasa platform. Me and Ngwarachuku be in the same platform. Reverend Ngwarachuku, what do you respect to him? And that Moses and, and all we were discussing there, tell them to snap, to, to screenshot that platform. I screenshot where I am, also screenshot. You know, open my own page and screenshot my phone number because you know, if somebody can save your number with Adnelis name and go to the platform and it will show Adnelis. You understand? Third person, left person, snap all the people in that platform and go to my own in, in my own page and snap so that my number will reflect. These are evidences we want. We want people to start thinking out of the box. We want people to challenge the status quo. We want people to 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 challenge the nonsense being peddled in the grant community. Let truth speak for itself. <coughs> now, your second question was, sorry. Uh, you talk about, uh, I said, how sure is this morning that we are going to Okay, get okay. This? But before, before you answer okay. that one, I forgot to add one the other time. Uh, there is a, a kind of write-up information that I got from social media that this uh, uh, relief uh, package from AGPJ is going to be 500k <coughs> and that apples to 10 has his own money that is going to be about 2.5 million to each beneficiary does he has does he have his own money all these things are speculation i don't know maybe you can clear this one also <coughs> excuse me okay now to answer your question there is money to be disbursed. If there is no money to be disbursed, at Minelli, you know how I behave. Uh, and that is why I have said in some of my v notes that if you are a grant handler or an intending grant handler and you know you will not be up straight or upright with the masses, don't involve at Minelli's. Because the moment you are involved me, you can you can get me involved through hook and crook, okay? And lie to me and I will get involved. But once I discover the truth, I will blow it. I don't, I don't care if you're my brother or you, we eat from the same pot. I will blow it. Now, there is money to be disbursed. There is money to be disbursed. 
Now, they said your the last question you said is this 2.5 to to uh to beneficiaries. They said they said <laughs> Apple Token has its own money that is going to disburse to beneficiary. Then uh, AGPGN they have their own. That AGPGN is disbursing 500k to beneficiary. Why Apple Token is disbursing 2.5? To beneficiary that Apostle Ken has his own money apart from the one that AGPGN is talking about. How true is that? Oh, that, that is that is a wonderful information I'm just getting now. If if Dr. Apostle Professor Ken Wakama has his own money, then he solves the problem. It has solved the it has solved the problem. If you have your money, just like Ten Tony Lumelu want to disburse his grants, if you write petition against Ten Lumelu, will he stand? They no. do not stand. So if Apostle Ken has his own money and he wants to disburse 2.5 million to everybody, okay, beg, show me where make I register. I would like register, make I get 2.5. You understand? Okay. But if the information, <laughs> if the information I have is correct, which I know it is, it is one money that we are expecting. That money will go into three accounts, and these three accounts will disburse it. Now, okay. if it is that money and Apostle Ken is not part of the account we are talking about, I have said this time and time again. Now, if it is that money we are talking about, my brother, uh, you know the number of beneficiaries that are expecting this money. Just for example, we have over 5,000 NGOs. We have over 5,000 NGOs. And these NGOs have one one bundle. This one one bundle translates to one one thousand people. 1,000 times 5,000. I want you to do the mathematics. Now, you may not be an accountant, okay? But I want you to meet any accountant or any banker and ask him or her. <coughs> 1,000 times 5,000. The number you get, you ask the person, will the government allow this number of persons to receive 2.5? in their account and it will not cause problem in the economy i just i don't want the answer to come from me make this research yourself all right make this research okay now look at all that the government is giving from the government uh, side they trade that money the <coughs> the palliative they share ah yes it is hundred thousand or fifty thousand hundred thousand fifty thousand because they know the the impact it to cause when you disperse that magnitude of money in the economy when you push it into the economy but like i said i don't want to answer yes or no but i want you to do the research and then answer it yourself thank you sir thank you you're welcome please next next person i think uh kunde mr kunde go ahead oh uh, thank you uh, mr ellis and really thank you i am not asking a question i'm just well, i just want to add to the last point you raised that pastors i am a man of god as i'm talking to you too what i do about these grants i don't comment i don't talk to whatever they say i'll just smile i focus on telling god that whoever is blocking this good largesse that god should take him away how i wish pastors apostles whatever title we think we are holding in the religious circle i wish you can channel our, our thinking and our thoughts to prayers rather than writing incitive uh, right up here and there i wish you can think like that that would have helped us let's keep praying let's stop inciting the masses we carry title but it's unfortunate you see people bragging and shouting on their altar but they are perpetrating evil underneath god has a way of paying those people back so thank you sir i you are one of those people i i listen if i i, I don't listen to uh, voice notes so much but you particularly i listen to you because i know the way you talk and i i it gives me a lot of hope god bless you sir